So you want to start a gaming career. Well, I'm gonna give you five tips on what I learned when I was starting my gaming channel and streams. And on top of that, who wouldn't want to make a living playing video games? It's fucking awesome. Anyways, let's just get right into it. So my first tip for you would be gamers is you just got to start. You just got to start like now, like today, like make a video today, put it online or start streaming today. Do it. Just do it. The reason why you got to make a video right now or go stream right now is because you got to dip your toe in the pool, gamer. You know what I'm saying? You have to dip it in the pool. You gotta see if this is something that you actually like doing or you actually enjoy or want to pursue because it's a lot harder than it looks, trust me. Tip number two. So the next thing you wanna do is learn OBS. OBS stands for Open Broadcaster Software. It's essentially a free piece of software so you can go download it right now and it will manage and help you record or stream your gameplays. And then you take that footage from OBS and then you'll, you know, do whatever you want with it. Upload it or, you know, we'll get into this in step number three where I talk a little bit about editing. Tip number three. So you already popped your cherry. You already got your first video out or you did your first stream and you got your head wrapped around OBS. You, 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 you figured it out. So now we're cooking with some gas here. So tip number three is all about growing and building your audience. Now we're getting into the juicy stuff, gamers. You want to make discoverable content. So what I mean by discoverable content, you want to make content that provides some kind of value or some kind of question answered because nobody's going to stumble upon your stream randomly. And it's not fun to stream for like zero, one person. Uh, been there, done that. <laughs> so what do I mean by discoverable content? You're going to want to make videos that answer somebody's question. Maybe you know about a certain glitch. Maybe you know how to get to a secret level. Maybe, maybe you know how to beat that badass boss that everybody's having problems with in the new latest version of Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> those kind of videos are going to get you a lot more views because people are actually looking for those kind of answers. And if it's a certain game that you're trying to stream, then you can also let them know in that video, hey, I also stream this game. And then you'll start building an audience that way. So tip number four, and this is probably the one that I struggle with the most, but it's to be as consistent as possible because you know, life be busy, yo. <laughs> but I'm starting to get really good at this by, you know, making sure that I have my schedule in place and this is the time that I'm gonna make videos or this is the time that I'm gonna stream. By the way, I stream on Sundays and Wednesdays. Come check me out at Desmo Gaming. I'll leave a link down in the description because I want you guys to see how I roll because I'm also on this journey with you guys. <laughs> Chloe, you wanna help uh, tell these gamers what tip number five is? <laughs> my dog Chloe, everybody. Tip number five is join the community. Not just any community, join the community for the game that you're making content around or the game that you're streaming because there's a lot of good benefits on joining these different like game communities. And you can join them anywhere, on Reddit, on Twitter, on Discord. The reason why you wanna join the community for whatever game that you're playing or streaming or making content around is because the community is gonna know exactly what's going on with whatever game that they love. So that can include like updates, DLC, any changes, glitches, and it's a really, really good way of getting ideas for making more discoverable content, answering people's questions. So if you're like on these forums and you see that people keep having the same problems and you have the answer to that problem, not only help them out in the forum, but also go and make a video on it. Well, those are my five tips for beginner gamers. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys agree with my list or you guys got any tips of your own or how is your like kind of gaming journey going? Um, I'm really interested to find out. Anyways, with that, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.